Hi, little one. Can I invite you to a fabulous journey behind closed eyes? I am sure that you will be happy to embark on this adventure with me. I want to warn you that it is imperative to listen to the fairy tale all the way to the end. There, you will find an interesting ending, a surprise for later. Imagine a field of dandelions, white and fluffy. They are already ripe. You are one of the dandelions in this field. Feel the sunny, pleasant warmth and softness from the soft flowers that surround you. A light breeze blows on the dandelions as the fluff separates from the middle of the flowers and flies through the air. Watch them closely. Now, you are one of these fluffs. One of a million. You are flying, surrounded by soft, warm clouds of dandelion seeds. You're incredibly peaceful. You are comfortable, calm, and at ease as you soar in the air. Enjoy the journey. You fly over meadows, forests, fields, over lakes and rivers, seas and oceans, over cities and villages. You observe wildlife and places where people live under you. Some places you see beautiful forests and not a single living soul. But elsewhere, you see living creatures below you, animals, birds, and water inhabitants. Suddenly, you see a falcon flying past you. Incredibly fast, faster than the wind. You barely had time to notice it. You admire his agility and speed. You want to have the same speed, to be the fastest in your sports clubs, in gym classes, or maybe just in games with friends on the street. You watch the falcon fly past, to the right, to the left, overtaking other birds. You dream of possessing its speed and dexterity. Imagine yourself ahead of everyone and suddenly, the falcon flies up to you and with one flap of its wings, showers you with a silvery cloud. You feel a pleasant mint coolness spreading all over your body. You are calm, you are still a fluff, and you are still interested in flying further towards new adventures. Here, you go down and fly over the forest. You notice an owl sitting in a tree, beautiful, with big and intelligent eyes. You know that the owl is famous for its wisdom. The owl knows everything, and you would really like to have the mind of an owl for an excellent study session, for being smart in decision making, or for impressing your friends. You descend on a branch opposite the owl, admire it, and then the owl takes off and leaves a large, golden, transparent ball on the branch instead of itself. You fly up and see that this ball is nothing more than a clot of golden energy. You fly right through and feel how a pleasant warmth completely envelops you and warms you all the way through like summer rays of the sun. You are calm, you are still a fluff, and you are still interested in flying further towards new adventures. You are now flying over a big, beautiful ocean. You enjoy the view of the endless smooth surface of the blue water. You suddenly notice how a pack of dolphins is frolicking. They disappear from view underwater. Then they jump out of the water joyfully, like acrobats in a circus. You rejoice with them. Your soul sings and celebrates. Dolphins are incredibly kind and positive creatures. You look at them and you think, I wish I could have such joy and positiveness and never be sad. 
and suddenly one of the dolphins jumps out of the water super high, soaring over you as you feel small splashes of water on yourself. You are laughing, you are in a good mood, you feel like the dolphins have just shared something very good with you. You are calm, you are still a fluff, and you are still interested in flying further towards new adventures. Suddenly, you find yourself flying over the safari as you see a pack of lions basking in the sun. Towering above them on a high stone lies a large, beautiful lion. Graceful, calm, self-confident. The lion has nobility, strength, and courage. He evokes unconditional respect for him from everyone around. You get down in a bush nearby and admire the lion. You admire him and dream of being like him, having a strong character, self-esteem, and self-confidence. Suddenly, the lion raises its head, turning it in your direction and emitting a loud, beautiful, royal-sounding roar. A wave of sound like a small earthquake vibrates through you. It's as shaky as a roller coaster. It just takes your breath away. You are calm. You are still a fluff. And you're still interested in flying further towards new adventures. You fly, admiring the beauty of nature, enjoying the warmth, the sunny weather, and find yourself above places of human settlement. You fly over roads, buildings, pedestrian streets, parks. In one of the parks, you see several dogs playing with each other, their owners walking next to them. Dogs frolic, roll on the grass, and run after each other. If their owners call them, they immediately give up on the games and obediently run to them. The owner pets it, hugs it, plays with it, throwing a stick or a ball, and the dog happily brings it back to him. They are happy that they have each other. Dogs are known for their loyalty, compassion, and kindness. A dog is a best friend. It's always there for you. It will never deceive or betray you. You think it would be great to have the same loyal friends. And as soon as this thought flashes through your head, someone lightly touches you on the shoulder. You take your eyes off and find that you are lying on the lawn under a tree and just decided to take a nap. It was a wonderful dream. Around you, you see several of your faithful, close friends with whom you are always interested in having fun with. You think, wow, the wish about friends from my dream came true exactly as I wanted. Thank you, dogs. Friends call you to play catch. You agree with pleasure. You run, laugh, like those dolphins who were in your dream. They gave you eternal joy and positivity. And now you will always have a great mood. And you will treat troubles with calmness and an optimistic mood. Thank you, dolphins. You definitely jump over a bench, over a curb, over a puddle. In the blink of an eye, climb over the fence overtake everyone and suddenly you realize that it was the falcon that shared speed and dexterity with you thank you falcon after a long time of running you get tired deciding to sit in the park eat ice cream and chat it was the lion who rewarded you with character traits that evoke unconditional respect from others thank you lion your friend comes up to you and says can I come to you in the evening so you can help me with math? You're the smartest one in our class. You answer aloud, of course, no problem. But to yourself, you smile and say, thank you, owl. 